DNA isolation. The first stage, cell dissolution. Prepare 10 microliters of RNase enzyme and add them to the DNA sample. Add 700 microliters of dissolution to the sample. Place the sample in the water bath at 37 degrees centigrade for an hour. The second stage, precipitation. Add 10 microliters of the proteinase K enzyme and mix it with the samples several times with a pipette. Mix the samples well with the mixer for 15 seconds. Avoid creating bubbles in the sample. Place the sample in the water bath at a temperature of 56 degrees centigrade for two hours. Add 700 microliters of phenyl, chloroform, and amyl alcohol in the ratios of 1 to 24 to 25 and mix the solution with the sample several times using a pipette. Place the sample in the centrifuge and set it to 13,000 cycles per minute for 10 minutes at a temperature of 4 degrees centigrade to isolate the contents of the tube to two layers. Remove the top layer using the pipette, then place it in the clean tube. Repeat steps 7, 8, and 9 twice. Add 700 microliters of chloroform to the sample you have removed. Place the sample in the centrifuge and set it to 13,000 cycles per minute for 10 minutes at a temperature of 4 degrees centigrade to isolate the contents of the tube to two layers. Remove the top layer using the pipette, then place it in the clean tube. Repeat steps 11, 12, and 13 once again. The third stage, purification. Add a solution of sodium acetate with a concentration of 3 molar, a tenth of the size of the sample, to the sample. Add an ethanol solution with a concentration of 95%, double the size of the sample, to the sample. Mix the content of the tube by turning it, then leave it to precipitate at a temperature of 70 degrees centigrade for a whole day. Place the sample in the centrifuge and set it to 13,000 cycles per minute for 30 minutes at a temperature of 4 degrees centigrade. Pour the floating material into a wastebasket. Retrieve the remaining material using a pipette. Then, place it in the clean tube. Add 700 microliters of ethanol 70%. Then mix it by pressing gently to prevent damage. Place the sample in the centrifuge and set it to 13,000 cycles per minute for 10 minutes at a temperature of 4 degrees centigrade. The liquid is poured into the wastebasket and the remaining is retrieved using the pipette gently to preserve the sample Dry the sample in the air. Dissolve the DNA sample in the solution regulator and mix it with the sample several times using the pipette. Now you have a DNA sample and can use it in other operations.